I'm Jasmine and today I'm going to draw and design on Procreate using our Honey Bee Collection Procreate stamps. If you are interested in purchasing these stamps, the pack is available for just $3 on our Etsy. This includes the designs in a Procreate stamp pack, colored PNG and JPEG files, and SVG files which can be used in the Cricut design space. The Etsy link is in the description. If you haven't used Procreate stamps before, they are single images which can be placed with just a tap on your screen. These stamps can be adjusted in size or color and moved around to your liking. For my design, I knew I wanted a sunflower to be part of the picture, so I started by stamping the petals, then the center I preferred. I then arranged some of the different honeycomb shapes, as well as the honeybees. After looking on the internet for different bee pun quotes, I chose my favorite, Be Wild and Free, and typed it out. The font I am using in this image is the Lovely Home font, which I downloaded online. However, the font did not have an and symbol, so I used the Marcella font for that instead. The links for both these fonts are in the description. When I placed the font on top of the image, I felt the lettering did not stand out as much as I wanted it to. I fixed this problem by using my eraser to clear a border around the lettering over the sunflower. The results for this cute design. Using the Procreate stamps, you can make designs for a variety of projects. After I completed the design, I thought it would look best on a bag. Since I have a sublimation printer, I decided sublimation was the best route. Now it's time for the true tutorial. For this project, you will need a sublimation canvas bag, a sublimation print of the design, parchment paper, and access to a heat press. I printed the design using my sublimation printer and purchased a 10-pack of sublimation bags on Amazon. Sublimation items are made of polyester or have a special polyester coating, which allows the ink to fuse into the fibers. Sublimation will not work on any material not containing polyester. If you do not have access to a sublimation printer, there are Etsy sellers who sell sublimation transfers. To apply your sublimation transfer, preheat your heat press to 365 degrees. Lay out your bag and heat it for about 10 seconds to prep the surface. This will remove any wrinkles or fold lines from the surface. Next, line up the design on the bag and use heat resistant tape to hold the design in place if needed. Place a sheet of parchment paper above the design for extra protection. Press the design for 80 seconds. Remove the paper to reveal the completed bag. The design I made in this video is available to purchase on its own for $4 and comes with a PNG and JPEG image as well as an SVG file for Cricut. However, if you do not have the materials to complete this, this project and are interested in the bags already made, the bags are available to purchase on our store, www.stargazerlilyboutique.com. Only the 10 I made with this pack will be available, so get them while you can. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to see when future tutorials are uploaded. If you have a tutorial you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.